Are you coming? We better hurry. Still one more irrigation leak to patch. Whoa. Careful, little guys. Hey guys, Ty here, so the official Oculus Link update for the Oculus Quest is finally here. That means that you're gonna be able to use it officially as a substitute of your Oculus Rift S or any other PC VR headset. And in this video, I'm gonna go through how to set up the Oculus Quest with your PC and how to run all your Oculus and Steam VR games directly in there. So without further ado, let's jump right in and let's see how to use your Oculus Quest is a PC VR headset. Let's get into it. Okay, so to start, we have to talk about the fact that this is still a beta. So of course there's gonna be glitches, it's not gonna be perfect, but from my first impression that I tried, I'm pretty excited because it works pretty well. Now, you have to have, of course, the right cable to use it because not all the cables are gonna be compatible. We're gonna talk about that in just a few. Also, not all the GPUs are gonna be compatible. The minimum requirements are very similar to the one that we had before with the Oculus Rift or the Rift M but some of the oldest graphic cards are actually right now don't support the Oculus Link connection. There's gonna be a list over here, so if you have new graphic cards, it's not gonna be a problem. And with laptops, some are gonna give some problem for sure. So first thing to do, if you have a PC powerful enough to run PC VR games on the Oculus Quest, as we saw in the requirement, is of course to download the Oculus software. You can find it in the Oculus website, of course, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below, and after installing it, you have to go in settings and opt in the public test version of the software. Because of course, like we said, this is still a beta and we need a beta software to do that. Now, once opt in, the program is gonna ask you, of course, to update the software you just installed or you had already installed. And on this side, you're pretty much good to go. It's gonna be version 1.44. If you already had the Oculus software, for some reason, the update is not showing up. I really suggest to opt out and in again to try trigger the update without any problem. And then we have the second part, of course, is that to update the Oculus Quest. So we go on settings over there, we go on about, and thanks to the last software update that we made a video about it over here, we're gonna be able to trigger and look for the last software update for the Oculus Quest. We click there, we wait for the download, and then, of course, as always, we restart the Oculus Quest once installed to have it without any problem in there. And we are pretty much too good to go because the next thing you have to do is just to connect your Type-C cable in the Oculus Quest. And after we have the sound prompted for the PC, the Oculus software is gonna run you through the setup for this cable. And now this is the tricky part of the setup because unfortunately not all the cables are gonna work. I tried many different cables in the house and I had no luck till the very end when I used the cable that I'm using for the camera that I'm recording with and I tried with the PC and bam, it worked. I had the green light over there. And unfortunately, the cable that you found in the box and the one that they are using every time probably to recharge your Oculus Quest is not gonna work because that is, for example, an USB 2.0 instead a 3.0 like required. Now, there are all the characteristics of the cable, the Oculus Link cable that is gonna arrive in the future directly on the website. And as you can see now in the screen right now, and if you take something similar, it should work. That means that has to be at least an USB 3.0 type C to USB 3.0 type A. And of course, it has to be connected on the PC on a port that needs USB 3.0. Now, the cable that is gonna arrive officially from Oculus is gonna be USB 3.2 Gen 1 with a five gigabit per second of bandwidth. So if you find something similar, it actually should work. But I really suggest you have some long cable because the one I'm using right now is very, very short. I'm not gonna be able really to play uh, room scale experience. Luckily, Oculus suggests already a cable that is actually compatible. It is 10 feet, so the length that we have on the Oculus Rift test actually, and is directly from Anchor. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can grab it out because it's the same that I grabbed and it's gonna arrive just in a few days. And Oculus itself tested it and said that it was working. So amazing, right? Now, the last step is of course to keep going with the next button until 
we're gonna actually arrive directly from our Oculus Quest in the Oculus Rift home, like we were used with the Oculus Rift test, but this time on the standalone headset that we have right here. There you're gonna be able to interact in the regular way that you're used to. Also, you're gonna be able to see the desktop and work with that. And all the settings that you had on the Oculus Rift S are gonna be there. And clicking on Stormland, well, Stormland is gonna start without any problem. A little thing that you have to know is that now, if you're gonna press the Oculus button on the Oculus Quest controllers, uh, well, their regular Rift Dome is gonna open. So until you don't actually unplug the cable, everything is gonna react exactly like the Oculus Rift does. And another very interesting thing, and something that is really, really useful and a big surprise, and actually one of the best news that I have for you, is that even Steam VR is gonna recognize the Oculus Quest like an Oculus Rift test, and you're gonna be able to play any Steam VR game also on the Oculus Quest without any problem. So I started Pistol Whip just to try it, and uh, well, it ran. We have Pistol Whip also on the Oculus Quest, and we saw a comparison over here, and now you can run it also from Steam VR if you want, or you can run any other game in there. The quality is really amazing. Everything is running at 72 Hz, and it is maximum of the panel for the Oculus Quest. And there were no artifacts, no glitches, nothing. And we we are still in a beta, so uh, this is really, really promising. And having a OLED display here with a higher resolution than the Oculus Rift does, well, I can already tell you now in this moment that I will not suggest anymore to buy a Rift S because the experience here looks already much, much better. So now that we have it, I can't really wait to show you also through the lenses video to really show you the difference between the Rift S and the Oculus Quest and to show you in some comparisons also like the difference in quality there is from one to the other directly playing on the PC with a PC VR headset or with the Oculus Quest. For a first sight, it seems really pretty much the same. So I'm really happy that they already improved the product that we tried back at OC6. Now, it's not all perfect, of course, this is still a beta, so uh, now and then you have some crashes, so this link connection just crashes like uh, during the gameplay, so it's something that probably now you can't really enjoy fully, but this is still a beta, and of course it's gonna get better and better in the future. Also, it could be related to the cable that maybe is not the perfect cable, and the solution for that is just unplug and replug it, and then it's gonna work <laughs> without any problem. Also, I want to point out that I didn't find any fix for the other rendering while playing, no reduction in FOV. In the latency, yes, you can perceive that it's not exactly like a native PC VR experience, but it's completely playable. It's more about the movement of your hands and your controllers and not really the latency on your head. That, if that will happen, it will give you some uh, motion sickness and it's something that you don't want at all. And of course, Oculus doesn't want it all because they don't want to scare people to actually embrace PC VR as well with all their games in there. Now, as I said, the first impression is very, very positive. We were all waiting for this update and it's finally here. And this unlocks all the possibilities in the world for this standalone headset that became officially the first hybrid headset on the market right now. Yes, we have 72 Hz. Yes, uh, the comfort it could be better on the Oculus Quest. We always, always thought about it. But yeah, this is an amazing possibility that we have right now to enjoy games like Stormland, Asgard Vrat and stuff that we weren't able to have directly on the Oculus Quest where AAA games are still like a little out of sight because the mobile chipset inside is not powerful enough. Now, with the power of a PC, of course, if we have the PC, we're gonna be able to do it. But a thing that is actually a little disappointing is the fact that the AMD graphic cards are not working in the beta right now with the Oculus Link connection, but it seems that Oculus is working directly with AMD to solve this issue right away. Also, let's hope that graphic cards like the 970, that yes, is a little old, but is still able to run PC VR games, is gonna be able to, in the future to use the power of this 
Oculus Link connection. But let me know what you think about it in the comment below. Do you think that is really the big step in VR? That's really what we needed. I can wait to show you all the comparisons, so subscribe for that. And if you find a cable that actually worked for you, please let me know in the comment below so we can share the information with everybody and be able to have the best cable as long as possible to have all the possibility in the world to use just not games uh, one meter away from your PC, but actually a full room scale experience using the tracking, of course, of the Oculus Quest. So is the Rift S that? Well, that's something that you have to let me know in the comment below. For now, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech, and I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.